Thanks for ruining Garfield for me. First time I heard about Least I Could Do, um, I was sent the audition, and I was told that there were no character descriptions, nothing that I could possibly learn from anything on the script, and usually there's a description of a character that I can read about and get some kind of sense. So I was told to go to this website, and I went to the website, and I was completely blown away by the comic. I started, I think before I started recording my audition, I might have looked at about 150 different strips in the archive. So I, I actually just got kind of distracted by how much I enjoyed it, which is really true. And, um, and I, I actually like the character of Nancy best of all the ones I auditioned for, so I kind of put the most work in thinking of that one. What's going on in here, Rain? It sounds like you're working hard and being productive. Are, are you okay? I like Nancy because she's kind of snarky, because she's, um, I think because she's willing to give Rain a lot of shit, um, which I appreciate. Um, and I also like about her that she's a blonde and she's beautiful, but she's not a dumb fuck, and that's really nice to see. Sometimes I need to remind myself that you are a living, breathing human being who feels pain instead of just a cartoon. How do you describe Least I Could Do? Okay, I would say that Least I Could Do is about a guy who fulfills all of his own fantasies without thinking about any of the repercussions. Um, and that he has a fuck lot of fun while he's doing it. <laughs>